Strap in, folks. We got a sweaty one for you this morning. Sources in the NBA are saying it's all but official that Carmelo Anthony is heading to Houston next season. Now, fans want to know, will Carmelo be able to help the Rockets clean up around the arena after games? Sure, he's 34, but when Anthony is healthy, he can still go hard with a dustpan. Me? I think he'll be able to make a real impact when it comes to picking up discarded cups and garbage. Will he be able to go full speed taking that stuff to the trash can? Well, maybe not, but he'll still get the job done and contribute solidly to the custodial staff. Houston made it clear this offseason that they were looking for an established veteran who could come off the bench after the fans leave and start cleaning up their loose wrappers and half-eaten food. And that's what they get with Carmelo. He might not be the same Carmelo Anthony he was in his heyday, but he'll still give you a decent 15 to 20 20 minutes a night, making sure the locker room looks better than he found it. This is a guy who could still fold up plenty of sideline chairs, no problem. Picking up straight towels shouldn't be an issue. Hey, and look at it this way, Rockets fans. He'll definitely accomplish more than Jeremy Lin did during his time there. Lin usually just made more of a mess. Definitely wasn't worth the hype. But hey, if Houston could get hot in the playoffs, don't be surprised if we see Melo sweeping up a bunch of confetti after the finals. All right, coming up after the break, we're talking NFL. Will some preseason tickets be enough to win over my stepson? Probably fucking not, but I guess it's worth a shot. It's time to start your day off right with a well-balanced sweat fest. Let's talk about this Ohio State scandal. Head coach Urban Meyer is still on administrative leave while investigators look into whether he knew about domestic violence allegations against assistant coach Zach Smith. Now, a lot of people are saying this is unfair, but I have to ask, if Meyer didn't want to get embroiled in an abuse scandal, why was he hanging around college football? If you go out coaching college football every week, sooner or later, something like this is going to happen. If you ask me, the situation Meyer is in now is, in a lot of ways, his own fault for getting involved in this world in the first place. If it was me in his position, I would have gone to my boss the second I found out I was coaching college football and I would have quit. He knew what he was getting into, going out there, drawing up plays, giving press conferences. The moment he put on that Ohio State polo, he should have realized he was just asking for it. Urban Meyer isn't stupid. He knew the type of people who participate in college football, but he still went around with that crowd. And sure, sure, it's easy for me to say he should have done this, he should have done that, but I think some of this is just common sense. Hey, you don't want to find yourself neck deep in a massive cover-up? Maybe find some less unsavory ways to spend your time. All right, coming up next, who's got an HBO login I can use to watch Hard Knocks? 